In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our WooSuite WooCommerce wholesale plugin. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and install and activate this WooCommerce wholesale plugin. Once you've done so, toggle this to on and we're in business. Let's refresh this page and we should see where we won't actually see a wholesale menu as such. We'll just see the features on the product page. So a new menu, which you will see is this tax um, exclusion rule. So let's click on it. So it's quite straightforward. Um, we've also got several other wholesale related plugin within our suite of uh, wholesale plugins. So for example, we've got our user registration plugin on the user registration form. You can add various form fields, for example, um, requiring your applicants to enter in their VAT number or their tax exempt certificate and so on. So in that case, if it, if it all checks out OK, in that case, you want to create a tax exclusion rule for those particular users. So you can do this in a variety of ways. Um, for example, you can create a new role within, again, that user registration plugin allows you to create a various um, user role. So you could have wholesale, um, like a default wholesale role, and then you can have wholesale with tax exemption. And then in that case, you want to go ahead and select that particular role here for all the wholesalers who are tax exempt. Or maybe you can um, go ahead and find that particular user who's um, tax exempt. Or for certain products, for example, certain products in certain countries are actually tax exempt. So in that case, you want to go ahead and select the product which is tax exempt or um, if, the, if it's a particular category, you can go ahead and handle that here. If it's a particular country that you sell to, which is a tax exempt, then you can go ahead and select that here. So as you can see, it's a super powerful system for handling your tax exemption rule. And this is just part of our wholesale plugin. Now, when we go to the product level, we'll see a few extra options. Okay, so let's edit um, this particular product. Okay, so now we are on our product page. You'll see this new option here, which says wholesale pricing rules. And you can create um, various rules. And in this case, you can create multiple rules. So the common use case that we'll see is a user will target a specific role. In this case, it would be the wholesaler. I haven't created a wholesale user role yet, so you'll have to imagine this is a wholesale user role. And then we want to set the price. So the standard price um, for your average users is um, $20 with a sale price of $18. But for a wholesale customer, so we can say $10 here. And then let's say you've got a wholesale tier one. So again, you'd select the, host, the user role, and then you'd select wholesale tier one. Again, I haven't um, created any user role for this example, so you just have to imagine with me. So that's $10. Um, so let's say that's a default wholesale customer. This is tier one. Maybe you wanna give it them for $8, and maybe you can have um, wholesale tier two and they would get it then for, let's say, $7. Or it could be wholesaler, distributor, a sales agent, or whatever the use case is. You can create um, multiple pricing option for various user role. Another thing that this wholesale, that our wholesale plugin does, it enables you to um, effic efficiently manage the stock levels between your retail customers and wholesale customers. So you can allocate a certain stock to both user role. So for example, we'd enable stock management. So inventory, stock management, and then here you'll see this stock management rule. 
and then you just click add new rule and again you can select who this particular rule applies to so in this case really you'd want to create a rule for your customers which is your retail customers and let's say we've got 50 um, quantities of this product so maybe you want to allocate 30 to your retail customers and then you'd create another rule and this one would target your wholesale customers again you'll have to imagine we've got a wholesale um, user role because I haven't created one and then in this case you'd set it to 25 so it equals um, the total amount which is sorry you'd set it to 20 so equals the total amount of 50 and basically when um, a retail customer is to order or a wholesale customer to order then this amount would um, reduce accordingly as well so it would keep sync with the total stock levels that's what the wholesale plugin does but if you've purchased our WooCommerce wholesale suite then you'd get access to so navigate to wholesale to add-ons you'll get the full suite of wholesale plugin so you'd get once this loads right so you'd get access to our sales agent module um, you'd also get access to our dynamic um, pricing and discount rules plugin so this is great if you want to create um, tiered pricing for your wholesale customers You'd get also our request a quote plugin. So um, maybe you can have a default pricing and then maybe you can add an extra button as well, which says request a quote. So your user can um, request a custom quote for the particular product that they've got in mind. As part of the wholesale suite as well, you'd also get access to our user registration um, plugin. So again, with this plugin here, you can add um, various form fields to your registration form that's targeting the, your wholesale users. And with this plugin as well, you'll be able to create um, a various user role. There'll be a separate video for this plugin within this plugin settings page as well. Also, as part of the wholesale suite, you get access to the WooSuite product table so you could create a quick order form and also you'd get access to our dynamic shipping and payment plugin. So you could create various conditional rules for payments and shipping. So say for example, you could disable PayPal. If you use PayPal for your retail customers, you can disable it for your wholesale customers. And if for your wholesale customers, you've got um, some kind of invoice in payment, you can disable that for your retail customers. Similar concept with shipping. You might um, want to disable certain shipping query from your wholesale customers that's available to your retail customers and vice versa. So as part of the wholesale suite, you'd also get access to this um, dynamic shipping and payments plugin as well. You would also get access to our minimum slash maximum quantity rule. And as the name suggests, you can create um, various rules. So say, for example, you could say for wholesale tier one, they need to purchase a minimum of, uh, let's say, 50 products. And for wholesale tier two, they need to purchase a minimum of 100 products and so on. Or it could be a maximum of 50 products. And um, for wholesale tier two, maximum of 100 products as well. You can also create um, order increments with this min max rule. So this is just one size. So this plugin really should be called um, WooSuite Wholesale Pricing because that's literally what, what it does. It handles the pricing and the taxes and the tax exclusion. Whereas our other plugin fill in the gap to complete the full wholesale suite. So that's about it for our wholesale pricing plugin. If you've got any questions, any um, feature requests, don't hesitate to contact support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.